had a shooter in yesterday afternoon and and called me stupid. I, I didn't shoot him, and, and I probably should have. It's hard to. We've seen a deer in the area, not up close yet. That it's a really, really heavy horn deer, which is my favorite kind of deer. And uh, and didn't shoot the deer yesterday. And so hoping we've seen several shooters in here. Hoping this afternoon it's going to happen. coming to the east, coming to us from out of the east. It's heavy. Listen, it's grunt. It's heavy. You can hear him grunt. He's gonna hang up in here. sent us a picture of this deer about a week ago here in Kansas and uh, I love these deer with the heavy mass and we've seen them a few times across the river on the neighbor's property and never could get him on our side of the river passed a couple really good bucks that you're gonna see on video that I was probably crazy for not shoot but when you get your mind set on something that was my deer and I was I was willing to eat a tag sandwich as they say if it didn't happen and the good Lord blessed us. I actually have a little bit of history with this deer. Two years ago, this old heavy horned deer came in on me in this same exact stand out here in the sand hills and I didn't shoot him and the reason why his whole left beam right in front of the G3 was just busted off and gone. And I decided not to shoot him and I was hoping Nobody else would kill him, and they didn't really seem a whole lot last year, but I'm almost positive that this is him. Tight rack, I mean, some kind of mass you just can't even imagine. Long tines, you know, those twos and threes are probably close to 12 inches. Just a brute of a deer, an old deer, seven-year-old deer. And I tell you what, I can't tell you how happy I am to take him, that's for sure.